Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. In this video, I'll show you how you can create your own web app using GPT 3.5 Turbo, which is Chat GPT's API and Bubble IO. So we are going to create something similar to this. This is a movie recommendation app. Uh, the name of the app is Watch Now AI, built by Joe. And if I run a movie here, it will give me some recommendation what kind of movie I can watch next. So we are going to build something similar to this. The backend of this web app is going to be very similar. We are going to build something very similar to this. So let's get started. First, you have to go to your OpenAI account and create your secret key. So first you generate your secret key, then you just copy it and save it somewhere else. All right. Now we are going to have a look at chat GPT's API's documentation, GPT 3.5 Turbos documentation. Well, we have the documentation here and let's go and build our app. So I will head towards bubble and I'll start for free. I will log in with my Google account. All right. So start building uh movie rec movie recommendation okay this is going to be our app movie recommendations 2023 this name is available so let's create our app all right we don't need anything start with the basic features it will take some time so be patient with this video because you are going to get a lot of value from here so next step we don't need any kind of next step all right close this close this so this is our index page and if i click on preview This looks something like this. I mean, this is just black page. So let's uh, click on it and page title, page title, movie rec. I'll give the page title movie rec. And uh, then I'll go to background color and set this color to something so that you can distinguish it's a background all right then go to layout uh, let me make it 920 10 80 all right that's it our background is done now we need an input box where our users can input their movie so from here click on input and we just need an input box this is our input and uh, let me edit the style a bit let me make it 24 so that you can uh, uh, see it change the font to open sans and i need something here so let's uh, this padding left to 20 all right so let's see how does it look okay, right now this looks like this so let's go to our design again and arrange it to center horizontally and we are done with our input we are not going to make anything here we are not going to waste our time on our input i just want to show you the back end how does it work create your own design like microsoft paint so this is our input then we need a button where the users can click and get i'll just rename this to get recommendation 
get recommendation all right get recommendation and yeah everything looks cool let me refresh this page all right so here you are going to enter your movie and when you will click recommendation your movie recommendations will be generated here for now and let's create a text box here we'll have our recommendations so let me go to edit style background style let me choose something dark so that you can see it and let me change the font size to 18 and this is to open sans and uh, all right let's see how it looks all right we need a little bit of padding here so let's be 25 25 25 and 25 so let me refresh it all right this looks good when the user will input a movie here a movie or maybe two three movies here and then click on get recommendations will uh, have this will uh, it will generate the recommendations here all right so i just deleted the right so let's go to plugin click on plugin and click on add plugin and we need the api connector so install it then click on add another api the api name will be g let's say open ai and i will add some header here two headers let's grab the documentation this is one header authorization all right and this is another header content type all right then this is another header uh this put for the header Rajeshan, we are going to input our OpenAI's key here. And this is application slash JSON. All right. Name will be movie. Recommendation. Let me expand it. And our API call name will be movie recommendations. And from here, we are going to choose post get means you get the information from an api post means you are commanding you are giving your prompt to an api and on the basis of your prompt it will generate the or our case it will generate the recommendation put and patch when you edit something so let's post and go to this and grab this call and just paste it all right we have already added the share headers body type json movie it should be action because we are going to trigger this uh with a button so put it to so now in the body put everything from here to here and this is going to be our prompt so E R O M P T prompt. All right. So let's it created a key and let's put a value here. Uncheck the private. Let's say uh, Troy. For that, I am going to grab my API key. So after you grab your API key, just paste here and now let's initialize the call if this will be a success that means our api is connected 
okay as you can see the api is connected and we requested movie recommendations for troy we'll get nothing because our prompt is not 100 percent correct okay it just kept something results so let's cancel it and go here and ask for provide 10 movie recommendation in a bullet list for um uh, on recommendation on uh this is the prompt prompt is the movie we are going to add and based on that recommendation it will create a bullet list of 10 movie uh, sorry based on that input it will create 10 movie recommendations in a bullet list uh provide 10 movie recommendations uh in a bullet list based on based on this so let's initialize again okay and show raw data okay let's save it let's go to our design and this is going this is our input so let's click on the button and click on start or edit workflow and click here what is our uh, open ai movie recommendation all right so the body prompt we are going to put a dynamic value that means the value can be changed according to the input the user will give so let's click on and what is the input let me first this is why we let me first change the name your movies okay i change the name then i'll go to workflow then i will do your movies value when the button is clicked all right that's it this value will replace the prompt here all right so this value means this is this is going to replace the prompt when user will click on get recommendations okay uh, then we'll go to workflow again and another thing we're going to set a state of the page set state of an element we are going to element we'll set the state of the index page this is our index page and we are going to set the state to rec that means recommendations and the state type is text because we'll get back the text from here so the value will be uh let me show you the let me show you what kind of value we are going to put show raw data so we are going to put the value of choices uh then the message content all right so go to workflow and value should be open ai movie recommendations mm, choices the first item in the choice and the message content that will be our value all right so let's go to design again and in here we have nothing so we are going to insert some dynamic data so dynamic data will fetch the dynamic data from the index page and the recommendation is a state of that index page where the movie recommendations will be stored when api um, get back to us so click on rec and we are done i think let's click on preview 
let me add some movie like John Wick. Yeah, let's add John Wick. You can add any number of movies you want as for your prompt. So let's get recommendation. All right, as you can see, this is working. So we just created a movie recommendation app. Congratulations. So if you liked this video, please share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.